All right, hey, um, if anybody ever sees this video, this one's about uh, changing your routine. I did the intermediate fasting for a while, a long time. I hit a plateau. I stay. I was staying at 2, 241, 240. Um, it didn't seem to be doing anything, so I, uh, I basically followed my daughter's advice, who's, uh, who's an instructor at a gym and uh, who works at a gym. And, and she you know, said, Dad, just, just get back to the gym. And I said, you know what, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's a good idea. Uh, intermediate fasting has gotten me, has, I, I've lost 20 pounds. I feel very good about that. It's awesome. It's fantastic. It's incredible. But I'm not moving anywhere. It's not, it's not coming off anymore. And then she was having the same problem too. So we're at the gym and I haven't noticed any, I've noticed that I feel better. There's muscle tone coming back. I guess it just feels good to work out. It's good to get the blood running, moving. Uh, from the last couple videos, I told you about a person who we care about a lot had a triple bypass. Uh, I don't want to be that person going through that um, because I because of my addiction to sugar or whatever. Um, cheese. Um, I don't want to be that person, you know. So if it takes you know working out and, and sweating and you know it's not fun. I mean, obviously. I guess you can make it, make going to the gym fun. I guess you know you could be distracted. You could watch television. You can listen to music. You can watch the other people. There's a there's a heck of a lot of old people. A lot of a lot of people like myself working out there. Um, I, I'm actually pretty impressed with the amount of of of, of older folks working out. Um, anyway, uh, and also lots lots of young guys trying to get big and. Uh, you know, the huge bodybuilders, you know, the gigantic guys, you know, just, I mean, they just, I mean, it's amazing. How do they get that big, you know? But, um, I guess this is its own microcosm. It's its own little, a little world inside it, inside of this world, you know, the gym life. Um, I used to be at the gym, I used to go to gym all the time, uh, when I was younger, in my 20s, and obviously you're always trying to stay in shape, you're, you know, those dating years, and, you, know, you want to be in good shape, and you, you know, it's just part of the it's part of what you do when you're younger. Um, you party hard, party heavy, and uh, work out a lot, and work off all the partying. Um, but it feels good. It feels good to get back in there, trying to rebuild my shoulder. I blew this out. Um, we were doing uh, my wife and I were doing uh, P90X, and uh, it's a lot of like dropping down to the floor and doing these exercises. And I just, I mean, I just I blew this thing out. Um, I've always had a problem with this shoulder, this right shoulder. Um, it's come out ah, maybe many times. I'm sure that there's an operation that should be done. Um, right now I'm just doing shoulder exercises, a lot of shoulder exercises, some chest stuff and stomach and uh, legs and that's that's about it. Um, anyway, it feels good. It feels great great to work out. I'm like I'm not trying to do a lot of these videos. I'm really just trying to get to that place where I'm down to 220, 225. I'm in good shape. My blood pressure has gone down. That's that's one big thing. Um, maybe it's the the the, the, the uh, local supermarket blood pressure gauge thing that doesn't work. But I don't know. Um, my blood pressure has not gone down. I've been working out for well over a month. Um, try to limit my salt normally. Um, so that's been really frustrating. Not seeing that the blood pressure go down. But I have kicked everything else's ass. I've kicked, you know, the, the pre-diabetes thing is gone. The, um, what was the other stuff? The cholesterol is lower. Um, definitely want to get down the LDL uh, up and the HDL down. I think that's how it goes. Um, just trying to get, just trying to be healthy. Um, you know, looking at, you know, like I said, my, uh, my uh, stepmom who had a triple bypass recently. I, I don't want to be that person suffering. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to have those blockages. And if there's any way to reverse that, um, if anybody ever watches this, um, you know, if you have suggestions for lowering high blood pressure, if you have suggestions about, um, you know, lowering HDL, all these things, there's a lot. You know, feel free to post. Um, at this point, you know, nobody's really watching this, which is fine. 
I'm posting it because I made a promise to myself that I was going to do it. And I've always achieved the goals that I set out in my life. I, I have always, and I think it comes down to you got to be determined. You got to you got to be dedicated and determined. You got to have that 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 self love and pride for yourself. You got to believe that it can happen. And you just got to keep doing it. It's that persistence that I talked about a long time ago. That persistence is key in every single thing you do in life. And if you just keep doing it, you're going to get better at it. You're going to just, whether, I don't care if it's running, if it's working out, if it's, if it's uh, it, schoolwork, if it's making something, if it's creating something, it doesn't matter. A little bit every single day will lead to great, great outcomes. Anyway, so um, I'm doing the gym thing, you know. I, I, you know, it's it's funny. It's it's from, it's from a past life of mine, you know. When I was when I was a football player, and uh, even when I went to uh, went to college, I used to work out there, and um, it was it was amazing, you know. It was always part of going to YMCA, and just it was always part of my life up until I started having kids, and then. I remember a friend of mine who we used to work out together, and, and he saw me with the kids. And that first couple of years when he had kids, he was like, "Dude, what's going on with you? Why? What's ha what's happening with the? What's going on?" I said, "It's kids. It's children. You, they keep you up all night. You're you're running around. You're trying to pay the bills. You, it's stressful. It, it's not about you anymore. It's about your children." But there is a point when your children grow up a little bit, and as my children have done, they start teaching you. And they start saying, uh, hey, you know, think about yourself again. So that kind of, this, this, this whole taking care of children, that long run from age, you know, zero to 20, it's 20 years. It's 20 years where you take care of children, and you should. 22, 23 if they're in college, 18 if you don't like them, kick them out, you know. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, and I, you know, it's amazing that my kids have said, hey, dad, time, time to get back to the gym. Time to take care of yourself. Time to lose some weight. Try, you know, to be the best, best uh, self that you can be. And uh, that's inspiring. That's really cool. Anyway, I hope somebody eventually watches these videos, but it doesn't, doesn't matter, I guess. It, it, it bums you out when you don't see any views because that means that nobody's watching. And for me, it's kind of like, well, I'm not doing this just for myself, but I guess I am. I am just doing this for myself. This is about getting healthy. How do you, how do you lose weight? How do you reverse heart disease if that's possible? I don't know if it's possible. How do you bring down your cholesterol naturally without drugs? How do you, how does it feel? How does it feel to be lighter? How does it feel to be treated differently when you don't look like a blob in jeans, you know? Um, it's an interesting process, and it's documented on this on this video. <laughs> so. Back to the gym.